In this video, I'll show you how to cancel your Microsoft 365 subscription and get a full refund without any issues. These are important steps you need to follow carefully. So make sure to watch this video till the end without skipping. If you miss a step, you might not get your refund. Step 1. Understanding the subscription and refund policy. Before we begin, let me clarify an important point. Microsoft offers a full refund if you cancel within 30 days of your first purchase. So in a way, you can use Microsoft 365 for free if you manage your subscription smartly. Now, let me demonstrate the process step by step so you don't get confused. Step 2. Checking your subscription status. First, let's check your Microsoft 365 subscription details. Open any Microsoft 365 app installed on your laptop like Word, Excel or PowerPoint. If you don't have any Microsoft apps installed, simply go to the official Microsoft website and log in to your account. Click on your profile icon. This is the same across all Microsoft apps. Select My Microsoft Account. This will redirect you to your account page in your browser. Here, you will find your subscription details including the current plan and next building cycle. Step 3 subscribing now i'll demonstrate by subscribing to microsoft 365 again click on resubscribe or if you are a new user it may show subscribe instead choose the monthly personal plan click on renew or subscribe the payment page will now load this is the crucial step if you look carefully at the terms microsoft clearly states that if you cancel within 30 days of your first purchase you will get a full refund so if you subscribe today, make sure to cancel before the 30th day to claim your refund. I recommend canceling on the 26th or 27th day to avoid any last minute issues. Pro tip, if you tend to forget things, set a reminder on your phone so you don't miss the cancellation date. Step 4. Canceling your subscription and getting a refund. Now let's go through the cancellation process step by step. Open any Microsoft 365 app and click on the profile icon. Select My Microsoft Account to open your account page. Under Subscriptions, click on Manage. This will show your next billing date. Click on Cancel Subscription. Now, here is the tricky part. Microsoft will try to tempt you with special offers and discounts to keep you subscribed. But don't fall for these tricks. Scroll down and click on I don't want my subscription. Microsoft might show one last offer. Ignore it and click End Subscription. Congratulations, you have successfully cancelled your Microsoft 365 subscription. You will also receive a confirmation email regarding your cancellation. Step 5. When will you get the refund? Now let's talk about the refund timeline. I cancelled my subscription on January 26th and as you can see here, I received my refund on January 28th. So for me, it took just two days. However, the refund time may vary slightly depending on your bank and payment method. But in most cases, it should take 2-5 to five business days. And that's it. Now you know how to cancel Microsoft 365 and get a full refund without any issues. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like this video to support the channel. Comment below if you have any questions. I reply to all comments. Subscribe for more tech tips, tricks, mobile reviews and gadget insights. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.